Hello wives and future wives. Oh, welcome to another video on the wife side. I am Lako Hansen, and if you are new to this channel, I hope that you go ahead and consider subscribing. Um, I feel like I have a really, really, really good topic today, so let's get right into it. So a couple weeks ago, I posted a video of me hosting a book club and the book that we were reading was this book here. You are a bad a double S every single day. Yes, you. Um, my friend thought it would be a good idea if I did a follow up video because I didn't talk about my affirmation and I thought it was a good idea because this book is definitely a game changer for women who want to um, excel in life, but you kind of feeling like you're at a plateau. So that's why I wanted to talk about this book today. So I was gifted this book from my friend. She walked into my office and she was like, I got you something. And I'm like, is this a book club? Because I personally have always wanted to be in a book club. And she's like, I think it is a book club. And I'm like, okay, we gonna meet then. <laughs> So we got together, um, you all already seen the video of that and we started reading this book. Um, we kind of started to plan out how we were gonna go about our book club and just doing some of the things that the book kind of recommended you doing in the beginning. That's what we did in the beginning stages. Um, so the book recommended you coming up with kind of like a schedule, like um, what is it called, like a routine you know, a day-to-day -day routine where you could stick to this routine and you wouldn't slack. Um, so a couple of things that they wanted you to look at in your routine was coming up with a motivational song, which I did. My motivational song was a song by India Irie called Video. I have always, always loved this song. I will leave the name and of the artist below and the title of the song below because I just feel like it's for women who don't care about the glitz and like really don't care about the glitz and the glam who <laughs> who really don't clear, care about the glitz and the glam who doesn't care about how much their clothes cost like that's what that song is about and i have loved this song since i was like I think even like a preteen, I've liked this song, but it basically talks about, I'm not the average girl from your video. My worth is not determined by the price of my clothes. No matter where I am, I will right. always be India Ari. <laughs> that's a little clip for you guys. Um, but that's the song that I picked for my morning song. And then it also wanted you to come up with an affirmation. So I came up with an affirmation, which I will share with you at the end of this video. Um, I feel like every woman should have an affirmation. It basically just talks about who you are as a woman, what you care about, and just, it's a representation of you. And I love my affirmation. I had the chance to read my friend's affirmation. She actually gave me a copy of her affirmation and I love her affirmation too. Like her affirmation can definitely come or can like relate to any woman. I feel like mine is more um, specific to me because I have my name and stuff like that. But hers, I think it's specific to her, but I think that I was even able to resonate with hers. So she came up with a good affirmation and then just a routine so um in the morning i wake up i go to the gym and then i go to work and you know just a life routine and i feel like for me i was supposed to wake up in the morning and listen to my song and then read my affirmation and then start my day but that was a struggle for me because one when i wake up i'm waking up so early in the morning and i need to get to work by a certain time um i live pretty far from dc so i need to get to work at a specific time especially now that traffic is back up and all that other things so what i do is i normally listen to my song on my way to work and then either right before i work out or um right before i get in a shower after working out i read my affirmation now my affirmation is something that i read not just in the morning if i'm having a day where it's kind of challenging or if i'm like just thinking about certain things and i want to kind of have like 
uh, I want to validate those feelings, I go ahead and I read my affirmation. So I have my affirmation on my phone and then I also have my affirmation in my journal. My This is the journal that I actually use for this book. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's actually her affirmation that she let me have. But. Okay, so this is the journal that I actually use for reading this book. Um, and what I do is as we are reading the, the page in the book, I will just write out what I take from it or whatever the case may be. Um, another thing that we do is we meet every, we on Wednesdays, we don't meet. We on Wednesdays, if it's her turn, she'll pick a number. If it's my turn, I'll pick a number first thing in the morning and then we'll read that page. We won't read it together, um, but we would read it. And then on Fridays, we will meet and discuss whatever page that we picked that previous Wednesday. Not within the same week of that Friday, but that previous Wednesday. Hopefully you all understand that, but this is just something that we do. Um, so on Wednesday, we'll either she or I will pick a number and then um, on Friday we'll meet for like lunch or whatever the case may be and we will just talk about what we took from that page that we read and lately we have I won't even say lately since day one we have had some of the best conversations um, the first page that we read the day that we did the uh, book club here at my home we read pages seven and eight and it just talked about how your life is a picture a canvas and you paint it the way that you want to and even that day we just had a really good discussion and then the following friday we had a great discussion and i I recommend you doing this book with a friend, whether it's a friend, a sister, a in-law, anybody, like any, it's for women. I recommend you doing it with a friend, your sister, your mother, your in-law. It doesn't matter who you do it with. This book, um, I think can tailor to every woman. And it's so funny because we are two totally different people. I think that we are both um, fun and kind of outgoing a, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like for her she's more of like a bubblier personality and I am a bubbly personality but I'm still kind of conservative at the same time <laughs> but it's so funny because when we come together on Friday she is a, a visual type of person she visualized the page and then she creates this whole masterpiece in her journal and it's crazy what she comes up with and then me i am more of a writer so i write my stuff down and then we talk about it that way uh but seeing her creativity i'm always just like how did you come up with that oh my gosh that is so good and then i look at my page and i'm like i just wrote but even when i try to visualize and i try to um uh, be a visual creator that's just something that I, I'm really not I'm more of I need to write out I love journaling and stuff like that but it's two different people and two different perspectives of that page that's why I think that it could tailor towards any woman out there again I recommend you doing this with a friend they don't have to be in the same state as you the same city city as you because you know we have technology where you could do video chats you could do phone calls it's just a, a book for women who want to excel in life and it gives you that extra push to let you know that you are a bad a double s every single day so that's how we utilize the book um we wednesdays we find a page and on fridays we meet we didn't meet this friday but i literally kind of look forward to those kind those fridays because it's just girl talk it's just us talking about things that's going to make us better we've had deep conversations we've talked about our regrets and what we are ashamed of now i used to be a person that says i don't regret anything in life you know but when I look back on some of the things that has happened in my life, I'm like, that was a regret. I, I wish that I would have done what my heart 
felt like I should have done or maybe I'm ashamed of doing that because I knew better, you know? Um, so we all kind of have those moments and that book kind of brought it out of us. She had her stuff and then I had mine and we had a conversation about it and it was just like, okay, I am refreshed because we do it during lunchtime um, at work and then you go back into work and you're just like, okay, that was cool, you know? Um, we've talked about being still this is one thing that i've really really taken from this book about being still being in the moment like it feels ladies like i don't know how to explain this but it it just feels like i have been going 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 for so long oh my gosh and it's sad to say that it took this book to bring that out of me like you need to sit still in the moment, enjoy the moment, stop going, 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 and give time to yourself. And I know there's so many women out there that is living this, like whether you are um, a wife, a wife and a mother, or just a mother, or just a single person that's out there trying to make it for yourself, we all get so caught up in just going, 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 going. And you never take the time to live in the moment. Even if you're in the moment and you think you're in the moment and your head is thinking about every other thing, you're not in the moment. And that's what I was. And this one page, it was page 71 of this book. And I'll leave it here or here. It might be on the side, but um, it basically talks about how you need to take like five seconds and just like tense your body up and then release it and it was almost like meditation that's what i was getting at first when we re we actually read that page together it was more like meditation and then after you know i went home and i reread it and stuff i was like maybe it's more of me being still every time i would just take 10 minutes for myself and i would tense my body up and i would release i would sit on the back porch and i would just get tingling like chills and it's just like my mind was finally at rest and the only thing that i would hear would be birds chirping and then as i did it a little bit more i started to think of things that I really wanna do in my life, in my personal professional life, in my personal life, that I feel is gonna push me forward. So that's one thing that I have really, really taken from this book so far, is just to be still, do the things that you like, but release your mind and just find that calming moment. Um, another thing that this book has helped me realize is the type of person that I want to be and that I already am, but I want to capitalize on that. I, I want to be more of this type of person, a person who does not judge. I feel like we all know that we live in a, a world today where you are being constantly judged. People are evil and just reading in this book how you don't have to be evil how you should treat people the way that you want to tr be treated and i already feel that way so my second song i talked earlier about me having a first song the second song that i have listened to that has been a song my, a favorite song of mine prior to me even knowing about this book was um humble and kind from tim mcgraw just talks about being humble and being kind treating people the way that you want to be treated and this is something that this book talks about like if you are going to be a bad aws every day it's not about being mean to people judging people belittling people it's treating people the way that you want to be treated so that is another thing that i took from this book i already kind of live like that where i just want to give positivity to people i only like positive vibes i try to stay away from negative things in my life um and sometimes that is difficult we all go through things we all have things that come into our lives that we cannot um that we can't you know stop from coming in our life and it's how you deal with them so it's things that are in my life that i feel that are negative and i i try not to give it any attention because it would make me an ugly person 
but this book definitely spells out how like you should treat people the way you want to be treated and you shouldn't gossip and you know all this other thing it's a really really good book ladies and i'm telling you if you are at that point of your life i'm 31 years old and i am still wanting more in my life i want to do more which i have a couple of things in the works um I want to do more and this book is helping me realize that no matter what age you are you could do it you could you could do whatever you want to do like you could paint the life that you want to live and granted it's gonna be things that come in your life that you're not gonna be able to control but this book gives you like exercises to help you be able to match those things so I really really again recommend this book to you your friends family members read it with somebody get it for somebody i actually want to send out some copies to some of my other friends some of my sisters my cousins it, it's just a really good book i am going to reference this book and something else that i am working on so i just i am super excited for you all to go out and get the book so the one thing that i love about this book is it made me create an affirmation and my affirmation i thought was going to be so hard i'm like how am i going to come up with an affirmation for me about my life i read another affirmation a long time ago okay some of you all have been around for a while in the um, 31 days to becoming a happy wife or maybe 30 days to a happy wife they had a wife affirmation in there as well too that was the first time i had seen an affirmation and then it's been brought back in my life again with this book now i was like oh how am i gonna write an affirmation i needed to have it by a certain day that friday i needed to have it and lo and behold me and babe went on a motorcycle ride where i feel like i have like a clear mind and i came up with an affirmation he had to stop at harley davidson to do like some a state inspection on his bike and i was able to then and there like do an affirmation and it came so easily my friend she sent me over some tips that helped me with my affirmation and it just something that i feel like is like it's me <laughs> so i am going to share you guys i'm going to share with you guys my affirmation and i encourage you all to do an affirmation as well so i have my affirmation in two places i have it on my phone like I said, if I go to work, if I'm feeling down, if I'm feeling like I need to validate a feeling, I could just pull it out of my phone or pull my phone up and read it on my phone. Or if I'm just sitting at home on the couch and I just want to read my affirmation, I have it in my journal as well too. So again, it's my affirmation. It's something that I feel like resonates with me. This is very, very intimate, I feel like, guys. Like, I'm letting you guys in. So, let's go ahead and get in there. <laughs> okay. So, I'll pull it up on this book. I was going to put it on my phone, but I have it here. Okay. I think it's like one of the first pages. My daily affirmation, it was written on May 31st of 2020. It says, I am LaCola Ray Hansen, a woman who sees and understands her potential. I am strong on most days and can overcome the hardest of situations. My love is pure and my heart is open. I see my blessings and I am thankful for them. I understand that my husband is a gift from God and I will cherish and respect the relationship I have with him. I am a woman who has goals and can accomplish them. I see fear as a scare tactic to prevent me from succeeding, but I will no longer allow it to stop me. I will find peace in knowing that life is not about figuring out why I am alive, but enjoying my life because I am alive. So that is my affirmation. I feel like I just shared like something big with you all these words just kind of flowed and then i had to kind of put it into like you know order of how i wanted it to come out but that is my affirmation that is my take on this book you are a bad a double s every day once again i definitely recommend you all 
um, going out and getting the book and sharing it with a friend, family member, in-law, whoever you want to, a new friendship that you want to see if it's going to be a good friendship, you can start with that. Um, definitely, definitely recommend you all reading this book and then, yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> Um, make sure that if you like this video, you give it a thumbs up. You a thumbs up. You comment below one if you have read this book, two if you are interested in reading this book, and then make sure you share this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and then always come back for some more websites. Until next time, wise up.